Hey guys and welcome to another heavy metal diecast video and today's bad boy we have here is from Hobby Master. It is one seventy second scale diecast. It is the FA eighteen B Hornet. Um, this one is from the RAAF, the Royal Australian Air Force, in uh, Williamstown. So uh, what we'll do? It's got the uh, like Tiger Library on there. We will get this packet open and have a look at the aircraft itself. So it does just have a little slip cover that you take off and then bang. The old uh, typical uh, Hobby Master sort of deal. It's got the flap in there with some details of the aircraft and everything on there. And the actual aircraft inside in a nice little blister packet for its protection. Has all the uh, modules and everything like that. So we'll get this one out of the box as well. So this is the old Hornet out of the uh, box. So we'll get this little lid off. We'll have a little look properly. And uh, as you can see, we'll have a good look at this in the packet for a moment. So it's got the uh, little um, canopy if you want to have it with the canopy open. It does come with the modules, as I said, for the uh, wheels undercarriage if you want to have it wheels down. And it does come with some uh, missile accessories, a couple of little miss missile accessory packets that are in this. And um, some more little accessories in, in, in a little baggie in here. And uh, obviously a little little stand here. So what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll take this bad boy out of the packet and have a real good look at it. Get a little pop out of it, and uh, we will have a real good look. And uh, as you can see, the details on this are really nice. It does have some really nice panel lines on there. Well, I mean, it is a hobby master, and um, I think overall, the um, we'll have a look at the tail here. It's got some nice markings on it. The the tiger finish on it is really nice. The, the it is a little bit glossy on there. And obviously the canopy does does remove, so you can put the little pilot figures if you want to do so. To put some pilot figures in there as well, or have that option for the canopy to be open. It does have a little bit of um, ordnance on the wingtips. Uh, we'll flip her over. So this is uh, airframe two one dash one one six. Obviously, as I said, for the Australian Air Force, and you've got the little uh, spots for the the modules that you do where you put the landing gear in there and there. And there's also the, these points here, here, and here that you put the uh, ordnance that you uh, want to display this aircraft with. And obviously the stand goes in there. Um, and speaking of uh, ordnance and landing gear, well, how about we put that stuff on? So obviously here we have it with all the ordnance on. So it does have a decent amount of uh, ordnance to uh, put on it. So obviously landing gear, just the modules just slot straight in there. Then you have your tanks and then uh, your air-to-air -air missiles. And I reckon, uh, you know, the ordnance on here really looks really nice. It does uh, set off this beast really well. And um, you just put the air brake in there. And it also does have an, an extra air brake if you want to have it in the open position with the um, strut having it open. Uh, same, same deal with the uh, cockpit. It has that if you want to have it in the open position too. And it does have a couple of little um, pilot figures that you can just place inside there if you want to display your aircraft with the uh, pilots in it. But I think, um, overall, I think this is a really tidy rendition of the uh, FA-18B Hornet. And um, especially in our RAAF one, it's uh, it's an Australian one, so I reckon this is a really nice nice unit. The colorization is really nice. I mean, you've got these really bright tiger stripes on there. And I think, overall, like, if you have a real good look underneath the detail... Typical hobby master, really nice detail. Um, I mean, overall, this, this thing is really, really cool. Uh, I think it's a good rendition of an F-18 Hornet. Um, sits sits nice. It'll it'll display nice, and it's um, yeah. I reckon it's a you know good bit of kit, as I like to say, and I uh, definitely think it's a you know uh, going to be a nice addition to your collection if you decide to uh, want to purchase one yourself. So um, yeah. But um, obviously it does come with a stand and I will um, I'll just put her on the deck here and we'll show you uh, what she looks like on the stand. I'll grab the stand for you. So here's the stand. It comes in three little pieces that you just quickly click together. Also has the normal Hobby Master little pin. That's like if you put the uh, covers for the landing gear and everything like that and you want to get it off. This, this actually does help you get those little pieces off. So we'll whack her on the stand for you. Um, obviously, if you want to have it on the stand though, you have to take the landing gear module, so it only displays, judging by this, it only displays in flight, so you will have to take 
the um, module out for the landing gear itself and you you just generally put the um, other uh, there is a blank off plate here for in flight and you just put that on in its place instead so um, no I can't show you what it's like on the stand because uh, unfortunately um, it's not set up for that so what I'll do is I will uh, just put her on the deck here and um, and finish this video <laughs> so but um, yeah as I said this is a pretty pretty cool rendition this is the uh, F-18B Hornet um, for the it's the classic Hornet sort of um, celebration from 1985 to 2019 um, that's what's on the tail it's from the RAAF um, it's uh, airframe um, 21116 um, so I reckon it's a pretty good rendition it's 172nd scale air power series by Hobbymaster and um, it set me back around 170 bucks. that was with the delivery and everything like that um, so it's not exactly the cheapest thing out there but it's a pretty cool uh, rendition of the aircraft nonetheless so uh, yeah look as per usual if you enjoyed the video give us a little bit of a like that'd be awesome and if you are enjoying the videos I'm putting out. Why not subscribe to the channel? That'd be so fantastic, and I'd really appreciate it, guys. Uh, um, I appreciate everyone that's subscribed so far. Um, yeah, <laughs> very appreciative, to, to to say the least. All right, guys, I will uh, chuck up some stills of this bad boy without the sausage fingers in the way. So stay tuned till the conclusion of this video and check that out. So uh, once again, thank you very much for watching and spending the time with me, and you guys have a great rest of your day. Cheers, guys. Okay, so for those that do want to um, display it on the base, I mean, you don't have to take that center module out, but I, I'm, I'm just doing that just so you can see a bit, a little bit easier. You just put that little um, piece on here, and that's uh, the cover for that, and then you just chuck your stand like so on there, and uh, this bad boy's ready to d display on the stand. So, yeah, no, I just thought I'd quickly show you that and uh, show you this bad boy on the stand. Alright guys, thanks again for watching and have a great rest of your day. Cheers guys.